It was a hazy day in August. I was 12 years old. Rode my bike to Little Pond. Well, then as now, I like to be on my own. That was the best place to be gone. Had my fishing rod over the handlebars, tackle box on the rack in the back. I brought along an old plastic bag just in case I had some luck. I had some luck. It was a little patch of paradise surrounded by suburban sprawl. But where I hid down under those willow trees was like being in Panama. Wouldn't you know this was to be my day, a day for the history books. From the bottom of that pond, the world's biggest bass shot straight for my treble hook, my treble hook. Now he's stuck with plaster, fins all frayed, covered with dust, got eyes of glass. But for a bucket of gold, I would not trade that six pound trophy, big mouth, that big mouth bass. That fish must have been mighty hungry. He did not hesitate. He snagged that rebel popper, which looked nothing at all like bait. We fought to the death. It seemed like days I alone lived to tell the tale. That fish hung over my skinny hands like a towel drying on a rail, a towel on a rail. Now he's stuffed with plaster, fins all frayed, covered with dust, got eyes of glass. But for a bucket of gold I would not trade. That six pound trophy, big mouth, that big mouth bass. Wet fish hanging from the handlebars. I rode home as quick as I could. My dad helped me look up the word taxidermy in the telephone book. Well, an old man charged three dollars a pound to immortalize my catch. As I look at it now, after all these years, I can still hear that great big splash of that six pound trophy, big mouth. That six pound trophy, big mouth. That big mouth bass. He's stuffed with plaster, fins all frayed, covered with dust, got eyes of glass. But for a bucket of gold, I would not trade that six pound trophy, big mouth. That six pound trophy, big mouth. Well, maybe five and a half. Yeah, maybe five and a half.